Hey again, let's be talking in this video about menu statement, which is when. So let me just say here, create a new class, I'll name it simple when, which is statement. So make sure you get this function. Suppose you have integer x and this x which variable x equal 10. Okay, you want to do a menu. That's when you say, hey, when x you do menu for x value you said hey if the x value equal 1 do this thing so for example if value equal 1 a prince like uh, value is 1 whatever you want just to do another thing 2 you say this thing print whatever value is 2 just doing a menu if you see value is 2 so you do just another menu a 3 for example value is a 3 whatever you say else value like I'm saying else the value is out, out of the range say make sure from this thing you do it in this thing because it's else and it's more than one line make sure add it between two plot one thing I just forget to say to you, if your code have more than one line added between two brackets, if your code have one line, you could don't add a bracket. If you see, this is because one line, he didn't add the bracket, but you could add it between two brackets if you have more than one line, okay? It is good for you. And also this one, for example, and this one, it is good to make you understand if you have more than one line of code. So if it's one, if the x is one, do this. If the x is two, do this. If the x is a three, do this. Else, do the value is out of range, okay? Now, how much the value, 10? He should not run any of these. If you just run debug it, he will not run one or two or three. He will just go to the else because it's out of the range. Same, the, same as the idea for if else, if else, if else, but here, we are doing like a menu check, which is like I see it more formatted. You would use it for in specific cases when you you, you when you write the code. So let me run it and see how this code will run when he check it. X is ten, and how what he will do with ten? He just doing menu and see if he could uh, validate the data, or he say no, I cannot. So let's go next. So when X is x he just directly go to this one why because he's not in the one or two or three if it's two so for example this one is just printed you see value is out of the range so if i suppose the value is two and i don't know why it's semicolon doesn't need it so i just i'm still like uh, C++ and Java format, you see, I use it a lot, so it makes me confused when I write code in Swift or in, in uh, Kotlin. So let's wait for a second and see what is going on, To and we try, we will try another case, another test cases. So, yes, here is it, menu. So, Coming here, he just directly go to that two. Why? Because the value two, menu two, he will print this one for us and he will show us value is two. Yes, that is a great now. But you could do a lot. This is not only, but maybe you say one or two. You just remove value as one or two, whatever. You could do this. You could add it on the range. You could say, hey, if this value in a specific range, like if this value in 10 to like 30, so if this value in this range or for example you say if this value is not in this range like you say how you do not you say not in 10 to 30 it's just different condition statement so yes and there is it but let you run now and see 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 here if you want to uh, or if you want in range between two numbers so now I have one, two, two should be run because he's in this range. So let me see what's going on and check it. I like when, it is good and simple and straightforward for people who want to, to work with when. So yes, 
One thing I hated here is the running time, it just takes too much time. Man, Android Studio running too much faster for me from this one. Just takes too much time for nothing. Yeah, here is it, X is 2, going here. Yes, he will print this one, then he done. See, whenever he get any condition, same as if else, when he, f he satisfy here, he will done. So if he satisfy here, he will done. If he satisfy here, he will done. Whenever he satisfy, he will done. So if I say, hey, I need 30, mm, debug it, he will not satisfy here. He will, maybe he will satisfy here, or maybe he will satisfy here. Depend on the range. If, if, if this boundary included, he will, he will consider it. If not, he will not consider it. So let me see what is going on in seconds. Hmm. So, is this one? No. Is this one? No. Yes. So it's in the range. So and because I give it 30, so 30 in the range between 10 and 30, so print 2. You say, and that is. So just to make the code clear, this is not 2, is range. Is range just for you. 130 is not in range okay range in in range is not in range yeah and that is it's just formatting code so yes this is basically how you work with when and how is it so much amazing and i like it so here we done thank you for watching see you next